हेलो एवरीवन आई एम प्रोफेसर एच आर आहेर फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर यवला सो टुडे वील कंडक्ट आवर फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल एंड स्टैटिस्टिकल मेथड एम ऑफ आवर एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू फाइंड आउट द रूट ऑफ द इक्वेशन्स बाय यूजिंग any programming language but here we have to use matlab programming language object is used to find out the root of equation by the bisection method so method we have to consider it is a bisection method now what is actually the bisection method bisection method is one of the bracketing method for finding the root of the equations Next important point that is the root of equation now if you see the curve that is f of x which is placed in x and y axis now curve which intersect the x axis that point is nothing but the root of the equation so in this first we have to uh, solve analytical problem and create the flow chart for the process and at last we have to create the matlab program so determine using bisection method a root of the equation cos x minus 1.3 x equal to 0 using five iterations the so solution for that numerical starting with first is a function that is a cos x minus 1.3 x equal to 0 and again uh, number of iterations are given that is 5 initial cases that you have to assume x1 equal to 0.5 and x2 equal to 1 next step is to find out the functions f of x1 and f of x2 for verifying initial cases are right or wrong so answer we got first is a positive one f of x1 is 0.22 and f of x2 x2 is minus 0.75 which is negative now you have to see the condition that is a condition of a uh, uh, condition for convergence is uh, f of x1 into f of x2 should be less than 0 so put the value of f of x1 and f of x2 and should it should be less than 0 as they are less than 0 so initial guesses that whatever we have consider so that is a correct okay next step is to go for first iteration for that x1 equal to 0.5 and x2 equal to 1 so calculate the new root that is x3 which is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 which is a bisection method formula and we'll get 0.75 x3 is now equal to 0.75 and find out a function for that that is f of 0.75 then function what we are getting that is minus 0.2433 which is negative next step is to replace x1 or x2 by x3 and for that condition is that is a sign whether it is positive or negative now first of all for replacing f of x1 that we have got positive and f of x2 that was negative and f of x3 is also negative so replace x2 by x3 as both both are have same sign next now new roots that that are x1 equal to 0.5 and x2 equal to 0.75 next step is go for second iteration x2 equal to 0.5 x2 equal to new root that is 0.75 find out x3 that is a x1 plus x2 divided by 2 bisection formula is there then again find out the function of x3 and again see the sign and with the help of sign replace x2 by x3 follow the same procedure till iteration 5 now if you tabulate all the five iterations result in the above format at the fifth iterations that is a 0.6093 which is a required root of the equation next we'll see the algorithm of the bisection method and flow chart of bisection method so first there is start of the program next is a define the function as f of x after that you have to enter the value of initial guesses that is x1 and x2 and also the number of iterations next put the value of x1 and x2 in the equation by using the command that is uh, f f y1 equal to f of x1 and y2 equal to f of x2 next step is to check 
for y1 into y2 whether they are greater than 0 if s then we have to again guess the new values of x1 and x2 next step is to take the number of iterations for that uh, first iteration that is n equal to 1 that we have to calculate the value of approximate root and using the bisection formula that is uh, x3 equal to x1 plus x2 okay so this step will be uh, performed continuously for that for loop you use up till the n iteration and at last you have to print the root x3 and the program will be end now we will run in matlab software uh, in search right on matlab then uh, right click on that run as a administrator click on that it will take some time uh, to open the software so at the starting uh, you will see the command window command history current directory launchpad and workspace in that just click on new script and for that it will uh, open an editor window uh, where we have to write down our program so starting with the syntax of the program that is percent root of the equation you have to find out the root of the equation by bisection method enter and second uh, write down clc that is you have to clear the screen initially any condition will be there then you have to clear it semicolon then next uh, enter f inline into bracket write down the function single inverted comma cos x minus 1.3 into x single invert inverted comma completed bracket complete and semicolon so semicolon is used to execute that line okay next x1 you have to input the value of x1 and x2 so x1 equal to input into bracket enter the value of x1 so this enter the value of x1 that is in single inverted that will be displayed on command window next again same for x2 equal to input enter the value of x2 this semicolon is used for execute that uh, inline program so whatever line is there what is the command is there that is to be executed so that is nothing but the end of that line so semicolon enter next same you have to give the value of n that is the number of iteration so n equal to input single in inverted comma so we have to display the enter the value of n bracket complete okay next now f of x1 and f of x2 that should be find out so y1 i will consider for f of x1 so y1 equal to f of x1 and uh, enter y2 equal to f of x2 so i have your notification for f of x1 and f of x2 so next step is a while loop uh, this while loop is used for verifying the initial condition is right or wrong so for that while uh, the condition is y1 into y2 y1 into y2 if it is uh, greater than 0 so our condition is less than 0 but if it is greater than 0 then what you have to do again we have to go for new initial guesses that is x1 you have to give again the new value of x1 that is x1 equal to input so our initial guesses that we have considered that was wrong so again you have to give new value of x1 that is x1 equal to input enter the value of x1 again again means our initial value was wrong so again we have to give the new value if our initial guesses are wrong and x2 equal to input enter the value of 
x2 again singly noted comma completed and semicolon enter and again i will give notification for f of x1 that will be y1 equal to f of x1 and uh, y2 will be equals to f of x2 and this condition will be repeated until the it is not executed so end the while loop so this command will be repeat till what is the required initial guesses that we will not get next is a for loop for loop is uh, you have to perform the number of iterations so for that command is i equal to 1 is to 1 is to 1 so what is that 1 is to 1 is to 1 that is a 1 so 1 n is nothing but number of iteration and 1 is nothing but the step size so next x3 that we have to find out x3 which is equal to x1 plus x2 into bracket divided by 2 so this is nothing but the bisection formula that is a new root that we have to find out from the initial guesses okay again we have to find out y3 from that so y3 which is equal to f of x3 now you have to replace x1 or x2 by x3 for that command is if else so if uh, y1 into y3 if this is less than 0 if this condition is there then uh, you have to replace x2 by x3 that is x2 equal to x3 and y2 will be equal to y3 else if this is a uh, statement is not true then uh, x1 will be equal to x3 and y1 will be equal to y3 if a statement will be end and for loop will be also end last uh, find out the value of x3 which is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 last way to print that for that a command is f print f into bracket semicolon the root x3 next is uh, which is equal to percent f so percent f is fixed point notation single in inverted comma completed comma x3 into bracket semicolon so this is command for printing the value of x3 next uh, we have to click on the run for execute the program it will ask the enter the value of x1 we have to enter 0 enter the value of x2 that will be 1 and enter the value of iterations n equal to 5 and we will get the answer that is the root of equation is x3 equal to 0 0.6093 now next we have to use solver for verifying the uh, our answer for that xi equal to 0 1 that is the initial guess 0 1 x1 equal to 0 x2 equal to 1 so enter it after that again uh, we have to use the command that is x equal to f0 uh, into bracket inline function into bracket you have to write out function in single input comma that is uh, cos x minus 1.3 x and this uh, solver you have to write or you have to type on command window only and uh, after that single comma completed 
comma xi into bracket enter so with the help of solver we have got the value of x is 0 0.6242 so coming to conclusion uh, we can say that the bisection method uh, is used for finding the approximate value of root of equation and also from the analytical solution MATLAB programming and MATLAB solver we have got near about same answers so whatever program we have created uh, that was right so this was our first experiment thanks for watching thank you